Hi there, welcome back to the new ClickSense tutorial video and in this tutorial video we will going to look at the quarter name function. So quarter name function as the name suggests will give us the quarter name information back based on the date we are specifying. So it will tell us in which quarter the date is falling. So let's see how we can specify this. So it has as you can see three parameters, the date parameter, period number parameter which is an optional so 0 will indicate the current quarter which you don't need to specify and minus 1 indicates previous quarter and positive 1 indicates next quarter and so on and so forth if you want to move back and forth into the quarter as well as if you are working with the financial quarters then you can specify in which quarter your oh sorry in which month your financial period is starting 2 indicates Feb and 3 indicates March so let's see all of this in the video so over here in the data we have the this table where we have simple invoice dates it can be any invoice uh, it can be any column uh, date column that on which you want to do this operation so what we want to do is we want to create a new table um, so table name is let's say quarter name and we will say load star and after that we will specify comma so star will indicate that we want all the columns from the temp table so invoice id and invoice date after that we will specify our quarter name okay quarter name and in that we will specify the invoice date inv date that's the minimum uh, parameter or the minimum value you need to provide to this function that means uh, what it is saying that uh, the quarter name is starting in the current quarter itself or in which the date is falling in that quarter and it's in the calendar year that means starting from Jan as we are giving a name to this as quarter name resident you can give any name that you want to this function uh, so that you can recognize its value in the front end resident damp table and after that since all of the values of temp table is in the star which is invoice id and invoice date we don't need this table so we will say drop table temp table and save it load it close it come to analysis let's create one table in this table let's add the dimension which is invoice date our base dimension base date and then add the column which is another dimension in this case and the quarter name so what it shows you Jan to March 2019 or Jan to March 2019 for these two values and so on and so forth for the rest of the values now what if if I say my uh, fiscal year is starting in the month of April so simple I will just have to specify first of all zero to indicate we want the uh, current quarter to be considered and then so before I specify that uh, let me just show you what I mean by this current quarter so that it's crystal clear to you so right now if you see we are having Jan to March but let's say we want based on the date we want their last quarter information so what I'll do is I will just say comma minus one okay save load close and the last quarter is October to December earlier it was Jan to March so that's what it means so if we indicate 0 that means Jan to March all right and now I am saying that I want the uh, my fiscal year is starting in April so I'll specify 4 okay so save load so all the values will be calculated accordingly so this will go to April to June for 2019 but if you see this is Jan to March 2018 because it's a financial year information and so on and so forth for the rest of the firm so that's how you can specify all of your parameters based on the needs that you have and get the output which you are looking for from the quarter name perspective so that's pretty much it and now I will meet you in the new video the new topic